As I'm sure you're aware, profitable trading requires an edge. And over time, edges tend to fade. So in this video, we will take you through a couple of the best one minute scalping strategies available right now that have a proven edge. Each of these strategies can be used for stock, commodity, cryptocurrency, equity, or Forex trading. And we'll take you through the different variables, how to enter buy and sell positions, where to place stop losses and take profits, and the advantages and disadvantages of a scalp. First, what is scalping? Scalping can be defined as a trading style where a trader capitalizes and profits from small price movements. The goal of scalping is to take as many small profits as possible and the trades are usually held for a short period of time. Scalping strategies require a very strict exit strategy as one large loss could eliminate that, the many small gains that you could obtain. Now let's take a look at how scalping works. Forex scalping is a trading style used by Forex traders to buy or sell a currency pair and then holding it for a short period of time in an attempt to make profit. While scalping attempts to capture small gains such as 5 to 20 pips per trade, the profit on these trades can be magnified by increasing the position size. The main premises of scalping are lessened exposure li limit risks, so a brief exposure to the market diminishes the probability of running into an adverse event, smaller moves are easier to obtain, a bigger imbalance of supply and demand is needed to warrant bigger price changes. For example, it's easier for a currency pair to make a one pip move or a five pip move than it is to make a 100 pip or a 50 pip move. Smaller moves are more frequent than large ones. Even during relatively quiet markets, there are still many small movements a scalper can exploit. So let's get into the first scalping strategy we have for you. To get started with this first strategy, you ideally want to be trading an asset that is currently trending. Of course, the time frame that you need to be using is the one minute chart and the indicators you will need are the stochastic with the setting set at 533 and the 50 EMA or exponential moving average and a 100 EMA. Ideally, you'll want to trade in the highly volatile New York and London trading sessions. Let's focus on how to enter a long position first. So, to enter a buy position, you'll need to meet the following criteria. Firstly, wait until the 50 EMA is above the 100 EMA, as you can see here. Secondly, we need to wait for price to return to the EMA levels, as you can see here in the blue box. And finally, the stochastic oscillator must break above the 20 level. So as you can see here, it's broken down and moved back above. If all three of these have occurred, there is now an opportunity to open a buy order or long position. And in this case, you can see that price went in our favor. Now to enter a short position, you'll need the opposite to occur. The 50 EMA will need to be under the 100 EMA. And similar to a buy entry, you should wait for the price to reach the EMA levels. Of course, we only want to be entering short positions on this strategy in a downtrend. And the final part of the puzzle is the stochastic oscillator must then break below the 80 level here before you open your sell order. The ideal take profit level for this strategy is 8 to 12 pips from your entry and the ideal stop loss or the best place for the stop loss is two to three pips under or above the most recent swing level. Now the next strategy is easier to understand and follow so let's get straight into what you will need to make it work. Firstly the asset that you want to choose is one with a lot of volatility and again that's something like the Euro USD so we have it again for this example. The time frames that you'll need are the 30 minute chart and the one minute chart of course. When it comes to indicators, the only one you'll need is the Bollinger Band and the sessions that you'll ideally want to trade it in are the New York and London sessions. So let's look at how to enter a position then. There are only two things that you need to be aware of. So we've grouped both long and short positions into one for this example. Firstly, you'll need to determine the trend and market conditions using the 30 minute time frame. So if we switch to the 30 minutes here, we can see that from the 20th of October up until the 21st at five o'clock, price is in an uptrend. Then we need to move back to the one minute chart and let's scroll back to the 20th. So we can see we're 
on the 20th of October here at 8.40 a.m. London time. And we're back on the one minute chart. So if the price is in an uptrend, which we've already established it is on the 30 minute chart, then we will enter a buy position once price has breached the lower Bollinger Band. So in this case, we can see it's here at 9.34 and we would enter a long position. And as you can see, price goes in our favor. Now, as I'm sure you're probably already aware, to enter a short position, we would just need the opposite to happen. So we would look for a downtrend on the 30 minute chart. And once price has breached the upper Bollinger Band, we would enter a short position. Now, as we're only scalping, we're not looking to take enormous amounts of profits. So when it comes to setting targets, we want to take profit at the opposite Bollinger Band. So for, for this example, we would enter here on the close of this candle, or in fact here on the close of this candle as this is the first one that breaches and set a price target at the upper band. So somewhere around here. When it comes to setting a stop loss, we want to put it at the very least two to three pips below the break of the candle that broke the Bollinger Band. So in this case, the closing price of this candle is 117.77 and at least two to three pips. So it will be at least 117.75. Of course, with all types of trading plans, there are advantages and disadvantages. And one minute scalping strategies trading the Forex market are no different. Some of the advantages of one minute scalping strategies are that there is a minimized risk as the trade is only open for a short period. Trading plans allow for more frequent trades as they're smaller in size. And finally, the strategies provide many potential entries throughout the day. Some of the disadvantages are Novice scalpers might be at risk if, of losing if they haven't carried out thorough backtesting. Keeping a positive risk to reward ratio can be challenging. There is a high risk of many consecutive losses. So trading psychology will be key here. And these strategies require you to dedicate a significant amount of time in front of the charts. On the surface, scalping strategies appear simple and more lucrative than swing trading due to the fact that traders have the ability to collect a full day's profit in just a few minutes. However, Successful implementation of one minute scalping strategies can create unexpected challenges and so it should be understood that scalping strategies are only suitable for certain types of trading personalities. A successful scalper must show a high level of discipline, be willing to follow the parameters of a trading system at all times. Scalpers are often required to make important decisions without hesitating. At the same time, scalpers are flexible and recognize the differences between a trade that's working and one that isn't. In the end, a successful scalper is a person that's able to play to the strengths of the market and exit trades at highly favorable moments. If you want to learn more about scalping and other trading strategies, head over to our website, asktraders.com, or if you have any questions, pop them in the comments section below.